What up, Atomic Domination? I've got a new episode, episode 114, and we're talking about Bye Bye Double Call. That's right, NCAA made a ruling, and the interwebs are just exploding with bad attitudes, but uh, nothing, nothing really good to say out there uh, from a lot of folks. So we're going to cover that. Uh, we're going to talk about that in our episode and talk about some other stuff that, that they ruled and what could this possibly mean for our game. Is it going to get sloppy? Uh, is it going to be quicker? Is it going to be longer rallies? We don't know. We're going to talk about it. Also, um, high school boy season kicks off this weekend. First serves on Saturday, maybe Friday night. Depends on where uh, where they're playing. Anyhow, we're going to talk more about it when we get back. But first, I want to hit that B roll. <laughs> All right, gang. All right, so you know you saw the intro. <clears throat> Welcome back. And uh, we're going to talk about doubles. Bye uh, bye to the double call. So I don't know exactly what it means. Um, I'm sure I can get some refs on here and we can possibly discuss or uh, leave your comments and we'll discuss it there. But anyhow, it looks like the NCAA, they are going to make an allowance, right? So they're going to allow to contact the ball more than once with any part of the body. There's always a but. All right, but the thing is, is if it goes over the net, then then there's, that's a violation, and then it's time for you to pay up, sucker. That's right. So uh, I kind of think that's the way it's kind of been, and we could probably thank men's volleyball, correction, boys high school volleyball, for introducing such uh, such a call, I guess, and got everyone used to seeing what an ugly game looks like. And sometimes the boys' game can be really ugly. But anyhow, the interwebs are losing their freaking minds out there, right? They're going to say, oh, it's backyard ball. It's already an ugly game. Uh, some people are saying, like, it's just taking the skill out of the game, so there's not going to be any skill. It's going to lead to longer rallies and sloppy games and blah, 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 blah. So people are upset. Anyhow, I did find some people are saying it's going to be faster play. Okay, so faster play. And I thought, well, wait a minute. Now, are, are we going to get the opportunity to have six setters on the floor? I mean, if we can have six setters on the floor, think about what you can do with your offense. I mean, you can really – just think about that for a second. Give us a couple years, I don't know, maybe three, and uh, I think you're going to see some new different offenses out there, um, not necessarily uh, changing things from like a 5 one, six, two, whatever. I'm just saying offensive plays, I should say that. So offensive plays may happen differently. So – I don't know, maybe we could start passing to the left, kind of like a southpaw offense or something like that, I don't know, depending on what rotation you're in. But anyhow, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of things going on, so I put together this little graph right here. If this is middle hitters, right, and their assist game forever has been none. You know, they've kind of gotten in a way, and you, know, you can see how their little numbers will go up. But check it out now. I got you, coach. Middles are going to get so involved in the game now, and I know that's going to be trouble. So... Uh, teach everyone how to handle the ball, please. Uh, you know, having that second contact and being con controlling that ball is going to be very important. So teach your middles to do that. Teach your back row players to do that as well as your pins. Uh, I think it's a good idea that everyone knows how to handle that second ball. Uh, all right. So I don't know what it's going to do for parents. They're going to be all distraught, hanging out, drinking their coffee in the morning or whatever, but they're going to be nothing for them to yell about other than what are they going to do? Just have some trendy call like, hey, back row attacks or foot faults or something. They'll find something to complain about uh, besides their kid not getting left playing time or whatever it is. So anyhow, I'd beware of those middles. You know that's what's going to happen. They're going to come in there and they're going to start taking over and it's going to be chaos, as they say. All right, so let's look at some of the other rulings that happened uh, with that initial ruling of the double call going away, all right? So looks like they're going to allow two bros, all right? So some of you call them libs, but I, I don't know. I hate that name. I don't know why. Um, and I refuse to say libro. I won't say that. <clears throat> so they're going to they're gonna allow two bros, and I, we're already seeing that in club, right? So uh, it's kind of club style now, and I would assume, you know, which I think also think is a dumb rule that, you know, liberos can't serve. 
in uh, in NCAA, which is kind of crazy. But uh, and I'm taking a wild guess that in uh, five to eight years, high school is going to see that too. So, uh, and if you don't know how to use two bros, which I've never used two bros, uh, I'll, I'm curious just to try it. But uh, obviously, you'd have one in for serve receive and one in for defense because they can't be on the same uh, can't be on the floor at the same time. So. Anyhow, that was a ruling. Also, this one here seems kind of interesting to me, and I don't know what forced this, but uh, I want to go visit that place. Where on earth or our country can we go and get a red card for home team fans? <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny that uh, the hometown crowd could get could get a red card if they were encroaching the playing area. So uh, again, this uh, this has to be SEC play for me. Like I think this is somewhere down south. I don't know why, but uh, you know where you get those uh, livid fans. Anyhow, some of the other stuff that I found in that in that article uh, above the net contact. What? Like, I, I don't even know what, are they playing slapjack up there? I, I, I don't know what, I mean, I don't get that high above the net. So um, I'm not sure what those guys are doing there, but I found that to be an interesting call. Snug jewelry will be allowed, you know, because they got so many email complaints that uh, friendships were destroyed by cutting off those friendship bracelets. So whatever. I think this is kind of a dumb rule. Uh, so I put my little dunce cap on here, which actually that says stupid in there, but uh, I wrote dumb out there just in case because I think everyone knows that wearing jewelry on the court is kind of dumb. I, I'm just not a fan of like hair bows and ribbons and nose rings. And I get it. You know, everybody wants to wear them and kind of do their thing. That's cool. But I just, I don't know. I see that as a hazard. You get, someone just gets packed in the face, you know, with a nose ring or, you know, something that, that just, that's dumb, man. But whatever you do, you. So uh, another thing is uh, in the non-traditional season. I've been guessing that's like spring games or possibly across the summer leagues or whatever. Uh, they're going to allow the men's international ball, that smooth covered ball, that funky purple and yellow one. I think that you guys have seen out there forever. But anyhow, so uh, I also probably could have drawn this a little better, but. You know, I got to thank um, Home Math for like, I could always draw, you know, I've been a graphic designer for, I don't know, 20 some, 25 some years. So, uh, you know, drawing's just kind of been a thing, not that I'm great at it, but, uh, you know, he really kind of brought to life like, hey, this is, this could be kind of a fun little format. So I've kind of converted over to this format, thanks to that cat. Uh, anyhow, so I put this graph in here, um, you got skill, you got the Big Bang Theory. So here's the history of time, right? Uh, and this is 2024. And this is where the skill of setting, right, goes to the top. And then we get around to 20, 2020, 2021, and it starts to drop. And then just in 24, uh, it just falls off the face of the earth. When these graphs are for boys and for girls. So, um, again, so it's done, it's going to be it's going to be up to us to figure out: Are we going to make the game as good as it is, or better, or are we just going to like? Oh, who cares about it? Let's just get a ball up there that we can hit as long as it doesn't go over the net. So that's going to be like 15, you know, like who knows how many contacts you're going to get before. Is it four contacts now technically? I mean, I don't know. So uh, lots of people complaining, you know, lots of people not looking forward to it. Uh, I feel sorry for the parents because I know that there's a lot of Karens out there who really want to uh, get involved and complain about doubles uh, because, you know, they played one season in high school. So. Um, they feel like they're really invested in the game and, you know, they've dumped a lot of money in the club play or whatever. So, um, they, they definitely need, or they're going to need some help. So if we can get some counseling for those folks, uh, so that they can just STF, I, I just, I don't know, man, it just, it's crazy how they get all lit up about stuff, like, especially the scoreboard, right? So the scoreboard will be the thing, right? That'll be the new one that elevates to the top. We're going to yell at some kid who's not keeping up with the scoreboard yet it, they don't understand that it goes by the book so uh that's a completely different topic but anyhow let's uh i wonder what other trendy calls we could possibly influence the ncaa to come up with like you know maybe we could lift up a teammate to block how about that i think that would be kind of cool you know on back row attacks if you could lift a teammate up and you know or possibly you know that free ball get that free ball up there and get a block on a free ball would be kind of cool uh maybe third sets are played with knives uh, or swords, you know, that kind of thing. Just get real Game of Thrones with it. Uh, that might be kind of fun, too. So, anyhow, um, I think that's all I've got on this one. This is, you know, it, it wasn't 
and there's a lot of controversy about it. It's mostly just people just dropping hate bombs about it because they don't like it. But uh, I don't know. I'm waiting to hear how people are going to use it for the good. Like I said, I think there's going to be a lot of new offenses created out there, a lot of new offensive plays, maybe even out of serve receive. Um, it's going to be fun, I think, uh, to see people work with it. You know, like if I can put a spin on that ball, right? If I can, since it's going to be allowed, if I can put a certain kind of spin on that ball, what can my hitter do to that ball to put another movement on it to get the ball down? You know what I mean? Like, is it, it's like you know, hitting a curveball with a curveball again to see where it curves. You know, it, it would be one of those things. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what people come up with. Uh, I can't say I'm a big fan of the rule or even that it was necessary, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'd love to know why they did it. So, anyhow, that's it. That's all I got for this episode 114. Yes, technically, I know there's not 114 episodes, but uh, for those of you who've cataloged anything in the digital world, uh, you know that it's got to be listed this way. Otherwise, it then gets all out of whack. So anyhow, that's it for episode 114. Uh, I'm out, and I hope you guys have a great, great week. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next episode yet. I haven't quite thought about it, but we might cover some high school opening weekend here in Indiana. Uh, like I said, first serves are happening on Friday night and then Saturday, some tournaments are happening and then the season gets rolling. So, uh, good luck to all those boys teams out there and the girls who are playing club, uh, continued success with your travels and whatnot. And, uh, we will talk to you later. Atomic Dom. Oh.